Not really. The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 box. Got hope. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Boy, did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? Uh, GLaDOS? Is there a particular reason as to why you repeated what Carolyn said just now? I wonder... <gasps> GLaDOS! Could you possibly be Carolyn? I don't believe it! And I also don't believe that I completely forgot to do my introduction once again. Greetings comrades, Multigame Master 1 reporting in and welcome to part 9 of Portal 2. In part 8, we unfortunately reunited with Patados here, and in part 9, we're going to continue our ascension up to the Aperture Science Laboratories. To start, you're going to see a dispenser up there that's color orange, and that means that we have a new gel to experiment with. So, as you will see in just a moment after I place a portal here and press this button, we have orange gel. And I'll explain more about the gel. The orange gel is known as orange propulsion gel and basically what that does is it allows you to run faster than what you normally could before. That's the pro to it. The con, however, is that it greatly reduces the amount of friction on the floor. That means that you could end up slipping rather easily and if you're unlucky, you'll end up hitting so many walls along the way and also falling to your death through a pit. So be careful as you experiment with this new gel. Now we're going to need a cube for that button over there, so let's see if we can get our hands on one. Gosh, I still can't believe that GLaDOS just repeated what Carolyn said, and that she indeed is Carolyn. It's quite a surprise for me. In fact, it's so shocking to hear that there was a time in which GLaDOS had a human heart after all, and was human, and not a complete insane robot in the past. I'll bet this surprises you guys as well. The first time I heard this, I was shocked. I mean, a robot once human. That's quite a mystery. A mystery that we've solved in our case. And hey, you learn something new every day, huh? Okay, we have the cube here, so let's see if we can make our way back, and I'm sorry about that, my control stick on my Xbox 360 controller jammed for a bit. Let's make our way back, set the cube on the button to raise the ramp, and now we can get up there after getting a good running start. And here we go. Whoop! Okay, now to complete the test, we need to reach that button up there. I'm thinking that we can use the orange repulsion gel, so let's pop a portal here and make our way back. Get a good running start once again. And now, let's fly. There we go, button is pressed and we've completed the test. Let's keep moving. Yeah, I think at this point in time, GLaDOS, that would be a good idea. Unless you want to black out like you did three times already. And please, will you stop swearing? Wait, I think there's a secret over there. Let's pop two portals here and here and get a good look. Let's see what we have here. They do indeed look familiar, GLaDOS. So as you guys can see on this picture, we have Cave Johnson and Carolyn. If you find this hidden picture by following what I do, GLaDOS will not only remember these people, but you'll also get an achievement called Portrait of a Lady worth 10 gamer score points. So good luck in finding the picture. With that said, let's move on to the next part of the test. The exit is over there. But it's too far away. I think we're going to have to use some portals and orange propulsion gel and blue repulsion gel. Let's start with the orange propulsion gel by popping a portal here and there and pressing the button. Get a good nice coat of it. I'm actually going to dispense the orange propulsion gel three times to make sure that we get a nice even coat. Of course, I could do two, but you know what they say, 
third time's the charm, and I just really want to make sure that we get a good coat. Okay, now that that's done, let's pop another portal there and one right here and dispense the blue repulsion gel so that we can bounce our way across. And now let's get a good running start. Hi! Okay, so far so good. We're close to the exit now. Let's pop a portal here and one up there. We're at a dead end at this point. But I'm thinking that if we travel backwards, we might be able to find the answer that we seek. So let's do so. Get a good running start once again. Pop a portal over there. And let's get ready to fly. Hup! Hip! Great job, astronaut, war hero, and or Olympian. With your help, we're gonna take the world. <laughs> this on? Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. Ew. I swear I know him. I'm pretty sure you do, GLaDOS. Or should I call you Carolyn? Now that we've all figured it out. Okay, let's move on to the next test. As soon as this transition occurs. Oh, and I'm also not going to cut out this loading screen right here. Because as you can see, it's a new one. Notice the new design and the orange text. We're definitely going places. If you're interested in additional $60... Flag down a test associate and let him know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, and then put you back together. And once again, Cave Johnson is bribing people for science. Or in this case, biomedics. I swear he's a horrible person. Okay, for this next test, the exit is over there. We're gonna have to make use of more of the orange propulsion gel and the blue repulsion gel. Let's start with the orange one. Pop two portals here and there. And give that walkway over there a nice coat of gel. Give it about maybe two drops worth. That should probably do it. Now let's pop another portal over there and do the same. Also these are timed so it will take about a few seconds for more of the gel to be dispensed. Now that that's taken care of, let's use the blue repulsion gel next. Pop a portal there and here, and give that ramp up there a nice fresh coat of blue gel. And I think that we should also focus on that panel over there. I have a feeling we're going to need the blue repulsion gel in order to make our escape, so that's why I'm doing that. Okay, now that that's taken care of, let's pop two portals here and there, and then make our way to this walkway, prepare to launch ourselves, and get ready to fly. I honestly do like experimenting with the blue propulsion gel and the orange propulsion gel, because as I said before, the orange propulsion gel lets you run fast, but it decreases the amount of friction that you have with the floor, meaning that you'll end up slipping rather easily. And I like the blue repulsion gel because, well, basically it works like a trampoline. And I like trampolines. Okay, now that everything is set up so we can make our way out of here, let's make our way back if we possibly can. By popping a portal here and there, once again getting a running start, resetting our orange portal over there if I possibly can. There we go. Now from here, I think we should be good to go. So cross your fingers, everyone. Here we go. Hup. Oh. In case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. So that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. Wow, he's such a cheapskate, that Cave Johnson. Plus, has he even figured out what would happen to the human being if he disassembled him or her and then put sign stuff in him or her and then reassembled him or her? And I think I may have said the words him and her way too many times there, but you guys get my point. Cave Johnson is just crazy, but I guess it's all in the name of science. Okay, let's keep going. 
I'm more than innovative for this. Thank you. I can't believe I'm thanking these people. For staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt? Ah, uh, Cave Johnson, you really need to get with the times. Okay, let's keep going if we possibly can. We're definitely getting a lot closer up to the Aperture Science Laboratories. Soon we'll be able to stop Wheatley. Carolyn, 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 why do I know this woman? Did I kill her? Or... Oh my god. Look, you're doing a great job. Can you handle things for yourself for a while? I need to think. Sure, GLaDOS. In fact, quite frankly, I do stuff by myself all the time. No, it's okay, GLaDOS. You just take all the time you need to in order to think, and I'll just do everything by myself. You jerk. Let's see what we have here. More gel pressure controls. Blue one's active, orange one is active, and ooh, white one. Let's give them all a flip. Yeah, we're definitely making quite a mess around here. Also, you're going to see the white gel being dispensed. And that's actually a good thing for us because that white gel is known as white conversion gel. And basically what that does is it allows us to pop portals on any surface that we want to. So that's actually pretty handy. And we're going to need to make good use of it in order to make our way out of here. So let's keep going along here. Bounce our way across with the blue repulsion gel. There we go. Now in order for us to get past this next part, we need to run as fast as possible without getting crushed by those hydraulic pistons. Let's see what's out here. Why should I kill the bird, GLaDOS? Yeah, you do that, GLaDOS. Okay, we need to get over there, so let's pop a portal here and make our way back so we can pop another one somewhere. Over there should do it. And now let's run across without getting crushed. Here we go. Hup! Hiya! Alright, nice. Let's keep going. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. And the bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy $7 worth of moon rocks, much less $70 million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're going to see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. Sounds like Cave Johnson is having a rough time. I wonder what caused him to become so deathly ill in the first place. Did he eat one of those moon rocks by accident? I don't know. Oh, and that's one thing I forgot to mention. The white conversion gel is actually made from moon rocks. So, it's actually pretty handy and it's something that I thought you guys would want to know. Basically, the moon rocks are just mulched together into the gel. So that's pretty interesting. And for this next part, we're going to need to make use of it in order to get out of here. So, let's use more of the white conversion gel to our advantage if we possibly can. I'm going to let you guys know right now that this is a confusing puzzle and it might take me a while to solve this. But hopefully not too long. Okay, we made it to the other side. Well, I can see a ramp over here. I have a feeling we're going to need that ramp in order to make our escape. 
from this test. So let's give that spot over there a nice fresh coat of the white conversion gel. Ah, that's nice. That's very nice. I honestly do like using portals in order to coat places in the test with either blue repulsion gel, orange propulsion gel, or white conversion gel. It's like... It's like you in art class. You take control of a paintbrush, and the only colors that you have at your disposal are orange, blue, and white. And with that paintbrush, you can paint just about wherever it is that you want to. It's very cool. And quite fortunate, because if we didn't have the white conversion gel, and the orange propulsion gel, and the blue repulsion gel, we would never be able to make it far within the Aperture Undergrounds. Okay, I think that should do it, so let's make our way up there. And from here, the exit should be over there. So let's make our way over here and pop a portal here. And how about there, if I can possibly reach it? Here we go. Whoop! Nice. Alright, I've been thinking. When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make life, take the lemons back. Get mad! I don't want your damn lemons! What am I supposed to do with these? Yeah, take the lemons! Demand to see life's manager! Make life rue the day it thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons! Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons! I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down! Burning people, he said what we're all thinking. The point is, if we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping, artificial intelligence. We should have been working on it 30 years ago. I will say this, and I'm going to say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <coughs> now she'll argue. She'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> now put her in my computer. I don't care. All right, test's over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. And at that point in time, that's how Cave Johnson died. Rest in peace, you crazy man. And also, it's rather interesting how this all started. It seems as though that Carolyn was put into artificial intelligence somehow. And that's how she had all of the power in the Aperture Science Laboratories. Very interesting. Okay, let's see if we can make our way out of here if we can. Let's see, pop a portal there. And then, where to next? That ramp over there. I'm hoping I can possibly nail this. That should do it. Okay, I got that done in one try. Usually it takes me about maybe 10 to 20 minutes in order to solve this test, but I guess I got it done quicker than usual. We've definitely made a lot of progress in the Aperture Undergrounds, but given the fact that I'm out of time for this part, I'm going to end things off here. Thank you guys so much for watching Part 9 of Portal 2. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, mark it as a favorite, and share it with your friends. And I'll see you guys in Part 10 of Portal 2. This is Multigame Master 1, over and out. A Chel, get in the door please. Get in the door.